Good morning, dear hearts. We are on lesson 350. Very significant. We're completing our next to the last relevant thought in part two of the workbook. And uh, we are 15 lessons away from the completion of the workbook for this year we have given to God, no matter when the year started for you, because I know not everyone started January 1st. So, and that doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It's it, if someone doesn't start on the 1st of January, tell them, it doesn't matter. Tell them they can start any day. Any day is the perfect day to start to train our minds and untrain our minds, have a, a new thought system going forward. So, um, did I say please subscribe? Please subscribe. I didn't think I did. So lesson 350, miracles mirror God's eternal love. His eternal love for us is offered through miracles. Miracles are of God and they signify life everlasting, love eternal. They're the thoughts from a whole mind that only reflect the truth. That's what a miracle does. It only reflects the truth. The first line of what is a miracle is a miracle is a correction. Miracles mirror God's eternal love. To offer them is to remember him, to remember God every time we offer a miracle. And we offer miracles through forgiveness, that forgiveness is the home of miracles. And through his memory, through God's memory, to save the world. We save the world with miracles. As we lay miracles upon this dry and dusty world, we're going to get to paragraph five again, um, we heal it. Miracles are healing. They are corrections. They are healing. They are exactly what we need in a tired world, in a weary world, in this world. So we begin with the prayer portion because all of the lessons in this section begin with the prayer first and then just a few lines and text like. And it begins with what we forgive becomes part of us as we perceive ourselves. How does what we forgive become a part of us? Because as we forgive, we end the separation between what we thought and who we are. So what we forgive, we've ended that separation and it now can become a part of us again. As we perceive ourselves, the Son of God incorporates all things within himself as you created him. Your memory depends on his forgiveness. If I don't forgive, I cannot remember God. Remember, the way to God is through forgiveness here. I have to forgive here where I believe I am in this world in order for me to reach God, for my mind to reunite with God's. What he is, what the Son of God is, is unaffected by his thoughts, but what he looks upon is their direct result. My thoughts are the direct result of what I see, but what I am, what we are, is immutable. It is changeless. It is eternal. It is timeless. We do not change from how we were created because a thought doesn't leave its source. See how these these lessons that we have learned, these things, these ideas that have come to us through this study, keep coming back and reuniting and weaving into that beautiful spiritual tapestry. We're almost done with it for this year and weave back in because they are true thoughts and they are important thoughts for us to remember and to realize. But we are affected by our thoughts. Only our thoughts affect us. So what he looks upon is their direct result of the thoughts. Therefore, my father, I would turn to you. I'm going to turn to you, father, because through my father, I will only see the truth. And only your memory will, will set me free. We are not free if we are not remembering God because we're not remembering who we are. It's only in the remembrance of our birthright that we truly can come home and know how much we are loved, that we are so, so beloved of our Father, our spiritual source, our celestial parent. So only your memory will set me free, and only my forgiveness teaches me to let your memory return to me and give it to the world in thankfulness. 
if I have this, if I have received and I am in possession of this great love, these miracle-minded thoughts, the only way for me to keep them is to give them. And as I give them, I share them and I strengthen them. What we share, we strengthen. Also a thought from a while ago, part one of the workbook, we learned that. Right now I'm going to go into that fifth paragraph of what is a miracle because it's so beautiful and I think it also blends in very well with the second part of today's lesson. So miracles fall like drops of healing rain, healing rain from heaven, healing rain from heaven on a dry and dusty world where starved and thirsty creatures come to die. And that's what we are if we come into this world and believe that we are an ego because everything from the ego comes to die. But now, now they have water and now the world is green and everywhere the signs of life spring up. This is our rebirth, our reunification, our remembrance of who we are. This is our resurrection as the signs of life spring up to show that what is born can never die for what has life has immortality. We are immortal, we are eternal because we were born from the thought in God's mind. We were created from the thought in God's mind. We sprang forth and that is who we are. And then the second part of today's lesson, and as we gather miracles from him, from this beautiful healing rain, we will indeed be grateful. For as we remember him, as we remember God, his son, his child will be restored to us in the reality of love. We will have a family reunion. The father and the son, mother and child reunion, father and child reunion together again at last for the first time and for all time we are one again and the miracles have brought us there the corrections in our mind have brought us here today and we will never leave we will never leave our father we will never leave our source and we will never leave our brother we are remembering the truth of who we are. Let me remember God created me. Let me remember I am one with God. And that's it for today. I hope it helped. So please like, please share, please subscribe, please smile, please breathe, please comment. Um, love the comments. And I answer the comments and uh, smile and breathe and pray pray for today to be all miracles all the time. Namaste.